Hello there everybody, Omega Luke here from FM Scout and today we have another experiment for you uh, to do with whether or not determination is crucial in producing the best potential player. So what I have done basically is I have created two identical players, one called high, one called low determination. I know, really uh, imaginative names as you can imagine. High determination, he has 20 determination, his brother though... Low determination, if we have a look at them, has one determination. So I've set them both at the current ability of 100, the potential ability of 200, so they would be the best players in the world if they reach their full potential. And I have put them uh, both at the young age of 15, made them both free transfers. And as you can see, I've put them in a, in a variety of positions because I genuinely don't know what the stats will grow into um, to help them in the future. And as you can see on this this player, I've put him on the left-hand side, high determination, I've put him on the right. So they are exactly identical other than the one attribute of determination. We're going to go for 10 years until they reach uh, the age of 25, roughly around when they should be peaking as a player. And we're going to see whether or not determination really is a big factor in the game of Football Manager. Okay, so the first year then, we're not obviously going to see a huge amount of attribute gains, but we can see that they have both joined a club, Brighton and Bournemouth. So first of all, let's have a look at high determination at Brighton. So he's kept the high determination anyway. His agility has gone up quite nicely. A few other stats there reaching the 11. A few more 10. So that's good to see. He already is developing. I'd imagine he signed with Brighton straight away. Uh, has he played any games in the Premier League? It doesn't look like it. No, he is currently in their under 18s. So uh, it probably will be a couple of years before he is introduced into first team football. But it's still nice to see that he is uh, sort of gaining the tributes and progressing really nicely as a player in a Premier League side. So he's actually as well listed for a transfer for 500k. Wow. Right, okay, that's interesting. He's wanted as well by a lot of clubs. Will it let me click on that? It's not going to. That's very bizarre. But they do. he does have major interest from a lot of clubs. And to be honest, that is Europe's elite, isn't it? Really? Um, I wonder then whether Brighton... Was relegated, probably 16th. No, they they're, they secured their position. And the other side, Bournemouth, who we know have low determination, they finished in 5th. That's pretty exciting. Callum Wilson up there and Harry Wilson. Let's have a look then. Um, well, well, we'll just go straight to determination and see him. Uh, there he is, low determination. Because he is in the under-18s as well. That determination has gone up once, so you'd imagine... They are trying to boost that through mentoring. And we can already see that he's starting to lag behind. The media describe him as a centre-back. It does look like he's been playing more as a left-back, though. Um, but these these attributes haven't necessarily gained a lot. Probably stayed around the same, to be honest. But other than that one determination. Did he make any appearances? He hasn't. 54 non-competitive appearances, though. 18 assists. Huge amount. So he's probably actually playing quite high at the pitch. Um, he is not wanted or transfer listed or anything. Roughly the same valuation as high determination. Let's go forward a couple years then and see what's happened, see what's progressed after three or four years. And so the year is 2022. Three years now into the future for these players. They are 18 years old. And this is the page of low determination. Still on loan from Bournemouth at Sheffield Wednesday. So... To be honest, I'm quite I'm quite surprised with his attributes. He has gone up to a five determination. The media does describe him as a wonder kid as well, and his valuation has also increased. A few yellows now, so we're starting to see some low teens uh, appearing uh, in his physicals. Anyway, the technical still the nine and tens, a couple of elevens there. Has he been playing a lot of games? He played a lot for Sheffield Wednesday. 40 appearances, 6 goals as well. Not too bad. In the second season, he didn't play any, so he probably stayed in the under-19s. Yeah, he played 60 games in the under-19s. 13 goals, so not too bad really, all things considered. Well, let's have a look at his brother then, because I have set them up as a brother. High determination. How is he doing? 
Well, still at Brighton. Lower valuation, quite interesting. Determination has dropped off by two. So that's not great. Although he still has the personality of a driven personality, he's still a centre-back as well. A few yellows, though, in the technicals. That's good to see. As well as a lot more yellows in the mentals and a lot more teens in the physicals. So he, he's on 77k a week. Outrageous stuff. I didn't check that before on uh, low determination. At 18 years old, then, he is playing in the Premier League. 38 games. He did not miss a game. I did put these for low injury proneness just for the simple reason that they none of them uh, near of them would pick up a huge injury which would hamper their development as much three goals two assists one player of the match have they kept up in the premier league they have indeed so 12th in the league bournemouth is still in the league as well so both players will be playing in the premier league still um, but whether they will stay at the same club after five years, let's find out. So five years into the future, then we start off on the page of low determination. Now really secured as a left back by the looks of it. Um, five determination. It has risen slightly. Some more teens that is c increasing quite a lot in the physicals and a few more mentals growing as well. So at the age of 21, he does have some development. He, he's sort of an all-rounder because these stats haven't really pushed on, haven't really been hampered. But the mentals and the physicals are starting to grow as well. £11.5 million is his valuation. 47.5 k a week. So still not as much as what high determination was on. And he has been playing more in the championship. Still hasn't really had a game at all in the Premier League. So that is very... He hasn't actually had a game at all. Is there something wrong with that? Should he have been playing non-competitive stuff? Or is it... Oh, it's because I think it's already gone over because it's July. That's the reason why. So this would be the last season that we're looking at here. Uh, so he played 42 games in total with eight substitute appearances as well. So 44 appearances in the championship. Eight goals, four assists. Four player of the matches, quite a good championship player then, still for low determination. I wonder how his brother's been getting on though. Is he still playing in the Premier League? Wow, now that is a very good developing player and he also has some bids in for him. Chelsea have put a bid in for £83 million. I'd imagine that's been accepted or will be accepted. Wanted by Chelsea, Liverpool and Manchester United. His current valuation of 31 and 135k a week. So it does look like Brighton is struggling to hold on to this player now. Some really good physical starting to develop here. Can really play across any position he wanted to. His determination has gone down again. Uh, but technique there starting to rise up. Some really good statistics here. I think if you were to put him at a left back, he'd be probably one at uh, the right back. Sorry, probably one of the best right backs in the world because of how overall he is good. History then. He has played in the Premier League every game, has not missed a game in four, well, three seasons, and has been very consistent as well. Five assists there, four goals, three player of the matches in the previous season. So I'm finding this quite interesting, to be honest, because he is developing better than low determination, but it's not the drop-off in low determination that I thought it would be. I thought low determination would struggle completely. However, he has developed slightly. It just looks like he's developing slower. So that sort of theory of high determination, it might not be a myth that whether they've got low determination, they cannot develop at all. It might just be the speed that they do develop. But we're going to find out anyway. We're going to go another five years in the future eventually. Uh, we'll go a couple more years now and see what happens. Well, here we are then. The year is 2026. And my word, Manchester United. Low determination has gone to Manchester United. 60 million he's valued. Not on as much money as what high determination was two years ago. And that determination is up to six now. Some still very good physicals. That's the most highlighted point that has developed. Uh, the mentals has increased. And these technicals now look like what high determination was after two, three years. So it does look like it sort of stuttered his growth technically, the determination. Um, of course, both of these players had work rate of 10. I didn't put the work rate down to 1 or, you know, or up to 20 for, tw uh, for the high determination. I wanted to keep work rate 
out of this situation completely. And it does look like work rate has stayed the same for both players. Well, well, we'll soon find out anyway at high determination. How much did he go for? 95 million. That's outstanding. He didn't exactly have an impressive year in the Premier League. 33 games, 5 goals, 3 assists, 3 player of the matches. With us, I mean, I, I say it's not an impressive. It's hard to, to, it's hard to tell uh, because you don't really know what position they're playing him in. But the average rating doesn't suggest that he was an unbelievable player worth 95 million. I'm guessing Manchester United just have the best scouts in the world and they recommended this guy to have 200 potential sort of behind the scenes. But he has played 35 games for Manchester United as well. Two off the bench, two goals, two assists. So he has improved in the season. And where's Manchester United been finishing? So the previous season, Manchester United finished in fourth place. Uh, where Bournemouth still finishing in seventh, still quite high. Brighton is still in there as well. So I don't know whether he high determination moved to Chelsea yet. But it does look like Brighton have secured their spot. And they're both doing really well here. They're both fighting it out here, seventh and eighth. So, high determination, how are you doing? Well, the bid must have been accepted because he is indeed at Chelsea with a valuation now of 69 million. He's wanted by other clubs though. Who's that? Manchester City, who we know have won the league. And he's on 185k a week. Determination still 17. So now he's sort of like securing. Uh, not That's not dropping off anymore. Physicals look outstanding. Anywhere on the pitch, that is great physicals there. Uh, the technicals, we still only have one green in technique. But obviously that is up to debate whether how they are training him, where he is playing. His dribbling is almost up there as well. His long throws, long shots, all really high. And his mentals are very average and out as well. Uh, so they are describing him as a centre-back. So I'd imagine that is where they are keeping him. Although I don't think I put them very tall. Just six foot. I put them very average all round. 23 years old now. So he's been playing quite a lot again. Two, goal, uh, two assists, three goals. And the season before that when he made the move. Exactly the same but with a couple of player of the matches. And just a slightly higher average rating so they are just very consistent which I'm not shocked with to be honest I did notice however 38 caps for England with two goals and a lot of under 21 appearances did low determination do that I didn't check so low determination has 14 caps with two goals as well and 33 so just lagging behind slightly on that as well Let's go then another three years into the future 10 years in total and that is where we're going to leave this episode so let's find out so, folks, the year is 2029, and to be honest, underwhelming from low determination. 25 years old now, so just about to hit his peak. Uh, we have a few greens in the physicals and in the mentals, but still nothing in the technicals as of yet. Uh, a few player traits has developed because I didn't add any of them to begin with. So, plays no through ball, stays back at all times, does not dive into tackles. So, it does look like this player has been trained as a centre back. Um, doesn't really highlight to me as an impressive centre-back. 46 caps, so in that three years, didn't gain as many caps um, as he progressed with at the start of his career. History then, I wonder if he's been playing a lot. He has, to be honest. They still play him quite a lot and every game. I wouldn't imagine Manchester United are doing very well if they're playing this guy. Though the, uh, the stats have dropped off. Um, right, let's go with high determination first before we have a look at the Premier League. So here is high determination, 82 million, 350k a week now. And he does still look like the same player, just with a couple of extra greens in that physicals department. He is now classed, though, as an elite centre-back. Now that shocks me because the tackling is still down there at 11. Marking a 14, heading a 12. He only has a jump and reach of 13. If you ask me... That just screams to me a great fullback. I don't know about you. That's just what that's just what I gain from that because of his pace and his agility. Even to be honest, playing him as an attacking uh, forward here in the AMR position, I would prefer him or even a really good centre mid. Um, but I am quite shocked. Seventy-seven caps for England, so a huge amount of caps for England. You would expect if he carried on another five years that he would go across the hundred cap quite easily 
maybe even become the most capped player ever for England. 11 goals, so it does suggest he is still playing at centre-back, although he likes to round the goalkeeper and knock ball past opponent, although he stays back at all times. Cuts in from both wings too, so questionable what is going on. Maybe football manager is so confused. In the Premier League though, he has been quite a good player for Chelsea. Five goals, three assists, five goals, one assist. One goal, three assists there. He has been chipping in quite a lot. Let's have a look at the Premier League then, see how they've been getting on. So the previous season, Chelsea finished just above Manchester United. So that's quite interesting to see just by a point. Still neck and neck, these two guys. And the season before that, Manchester United finished second with Chelsea at fourth. So it's not like they've really been pulling their club. And the season before, again, just a little switcheroo there. So it doesn't look like they've really been propelling their team higher. They've been roughly the same amount. But it's quite interesting how either each of them have developed from um, the very beginning into the top of the table sides, just not accomplish much. But we're going to have a look at one more thing. We're going to have a look at their landmarks and see if they've won any like awards or any cups or anything like that. So here we are then, the milestones of low determination and his landmarks. So that England have won the World Cup. That's fantastic to see as an Englishman. That is brilliant to see. Um, so very well done. Low and high determination for both doing that. The Skybet Championship, they were promoted through that. Uh, he won the Under-19s Championship and the Under-20s World Cup. So he hasn't really done a lot there. He was named in Manchester United's overall best 11. A couple of Team of the Weeks in there. Nothing too outrageous. Right, competitions. Third place in the European International League. Runners-up in the Carabao Cup. Runners-up again in the Carabao Cup. Not a lot, to be honest. So, high determination then on his history. We have a couple of Premier League Team of the Weeks again. Uh, Chelsea's best 11. Landmarks, of course, at World Cup. They, he has won the FA Cup. So, he has done more than that. So, that's quite good. He's done more than what low determination has done. And Chelsea, they've won the Champions League in 2025. So, four years ago, when he was just 21 years of age, I think that might have been his first year, 2025, they won the Champions League. Now, that's great. That's really good. Uh, any awards? That's what I'm looking for, really, is like... Uh, not, not exactly Ballon d'Or, but you know what I mean. So he was named in the World Cup Dream Team of 2026, the year they won it. So that's brilliant. And this, for me, is the highlight and what we're going to end the episode on. In 2028, at the age of 24, High Determination was named England Captain. It just shows what good determination can bring to a player. Outstanding stuff then. If you've enjoyed this little experiment, uh, just really to see if the myth of determination really is a factor. Two identical players doesn't make too much of a difference, but it's the difference between an England captain and not. Maybe, I don't know. Just slightly better player, if you ask me in my opinion, is high determination. But anyway, smash a like on this video. That would be absolutely fantastic. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other attributes you want us to try with. Maybe play around with work rate, pace, whether you want to see the fastest player, the slowest player, and see how that develops. Anything like that, leave it down in the comments as a suggestion, and we will get round to doing that eventually. But my name is Omega Luke. If you're looking for some more content, the link for my channel is down in the descriptions for some Let's Play actions. I would love it for you to come over and enjoy your time on my channel as well, and drop me a nice subscribe. That would be fantastic. But I'll see you again for the next one. Goodbye.